They are here by to worship the ground the gas walks out. <laughs> That wins the race. But it, it ain't a race, Yolandi. He thinks it is, but it ain't. Maybe it's time you started to think not what Julie wants from his life, but what you guys want from yours. But what I want is for my brother to listen to me once in a while. My name's Mr. Reaper. I'm a friend of your husband's. A friend of Jake's? Mm. But he never mentioned you. Really? That's upsetting. Mm. I don't like to be upset. Ellie? Come here now. Ellie, wait there. Yeah, this won't take long. What do you want from us? Hmm. It's more a case of what I don't want, if that makes sense. Mrs. Russo. Ah, Mrs. Russo. That's nice. Oi, look at me. Your daughter's fine. This is the problem, yeah? Your husband seems to bring his work a little too close to me and my boys here. Bring us bare unwanted attention. So I was wondering, maybe you can speak to him tonight and tell him to back off. Cause he ain't the only one who can play detective, you know? And I'd hate for something to happen to little Ellie Russo. Nick, please. You want to talk about babies? We'll talk about babies. But I've been working all day and I'm shattered. Can't I just have half an hour to listen to the footy? Is that too much to ask? But Joe! Nick, do me a favour. Are you smoking rocks and selling it? Jules, man, that stuff will rot your head. Are you stupid, bruv? You ain't touched it. And now you're starting to wind me up because you're beginning to sound like Dad. All right. I ain't having a go. I had to ask a question, didn't I? You just need to stop worrying, bruv. I don't know what I'm doing. I don't know what you're doing. You haven't known what to do with yourself ever since you walked out of six Gus, form. please, bruv, man, yeah? I don't need this from you. My head's banging already. You could have done anything. All your teachers said it. You should have listened to them instead of your stupid little mates. You could be anywhere by now, but instead you're here with a face that looks like roadkill. What are you doing? Something I should have done a long time ago. No, we can't. We just did. Uh, what about the pact? Forget the pact, babe. We'll blame on the exotic pepperoni. <laughs> what have it been, ham and mushroom? Oh my gosh, ham and mushroom. That's topping the girl, babe. That is such a turn on. You've probably been all up in the shed by now. I do have a bed upstairs, you know. Yeah? Yeah. You can't call the police. It's gonna kill me. No. No, he's just roughed you up. Who's gonna do it? Yeah, I'm telling you, the guy is losing his mind. What do you mean? Look, I'm trying to make out this. This was a suicide note. No, no, this isn't his writing. It's mine, they're lyrics. This wasn't some spur of the moment thing, yeah? He's been planning this. Well, then he doesn't need the police, does he? He needs help. Yeah, too right, he does. No, don't. He can't go back inside you. You don't know what it'll do to him. No, but I know what he's done to me. Hey, where's the money? Where's the money? I won my money. Your money? What have you done with it, Gus? It's a thing. I took it back. Where? I put it for the letterbox, yeah, and he called me. Who? Uh, Jake. He said, we'll call the police or worse, yeah? Surprise you. I get your bags and pack while you still can. Listen, man. You glassed up your own blood, your brother. Brother? Look at you. What is this way down to Ruby, is it? We grab her like this? You try hurting people or something. I mean, what's she ever done to you? Why'd you do it, Julie? Why'd you have to go and do something like that? I gotta get up, I gotta be strong, I gotta move forward. I gotta be focused and motivated. Hey, and I, I gotta change to make it better. I gotta change to be a better man. A better man.